delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. Do you have a new set of orders for me today? Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. I have to say, I'm impressed. You've adjusted to this whole endeavor better than I would have expected. Not that that's any sort of assumption about you, of course. There's just... well, this is all a lot to take in. We probably should have spoken before now, but I didn't want to get in the way. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. <coughs> Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy!
Battle of Cheyenne by the Freestyle Collective's ragtag fleet, both sides decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. So, the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped, mechs and xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive, which actually rests below our feet as we speak. And while these new restrictions transformed the settled systems overnight, entire economies were upended with <coughs> the flick of a pen. They also marked the start of something critical, cooperation between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective for the first time in decades. A pledge between the powers for a more harmonious future. Thank you for listening. Sure, I've got a minute. Well, okay then. Miss this ship. Did you need something? Sweet home. Or bittersweet home, I suppose. I cannot wait to meet him. 
It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Good teachers are like supernovae. Brilliant auras of light that turn dust into stars. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. And it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah. Don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Hello, Captain. Your safe return to the lodge will please be up.
not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated. I leave my cozy slippers. Hmm. Maybe I didn't bring them. Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city, and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local Gal Bank. We'll be heading there. Can I help? Okay. 
will have a tech free? That's not a problem. And you're springing for the new reactor? It's still under manufacturer's warranty. Yes. Can I get an invoice? <laughs> what you need one of those for? Corporate policy. Is it okay if I just write it on a notepad? As long as it's written and signed, you could be on a loaf of bread. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Got another freighter that needs clearance on New Homestead after this one. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. Not usually. But he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. But frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Everyone stays in front of the building, you got me? If you make a move... Kila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Like who? Security not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different perception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group. But hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they'd just stayed home. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also... There are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. 
You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands the shock game's making fools of us all. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. Negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Um, it, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? Why should your word mean anything to me? I... Uh, I see what you mean. That's just what you want us to think, so we'll give up. We've been in worse scrapes than this. We can handle being stuck in a bank. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. talk too damn much. Complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Got a real attitude problem, don't you? Well, you better listen up. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Then persuade the marshal that it ain't. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. That's life. up to the marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. If the hostages die, it'll be the marshal's fault for not taking us seriously. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. My husband's there. He's one of the hostages. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. I appreciate your idealism. 
But there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. I have complete confidence in the Marshal. so much. Now I have two heroes, Solomon Coe and you. We owe you everything. I hope the Marshal gives you a big reward. Quite a spectacle, isn't it? 
Nice work. I'm sure everything I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? That's... that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective, they're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now the lives are on the line. Let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. Shimon. Well done. Well done indeed. Marco! Feels a little weird though. Guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. I need to give it more time, Helga. Guess that means you won't be You've telling the marshal that I'm approved. No doubt about field that. Today. Not yet. There could still be a setback, and I need to be close at hand if that happens. Fine, fine. But you should know that I'm crawling the walls in here. So just take it easy. It shouldn't be long now. Well, hey there. Did I try to rob the place in broad daylight? Seems that way. Need something? You got some business with me? Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Free Star Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Free Star Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Sure, but we rangers work across the whole of Freestar Collective Space. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Well, in theory, a Free Star Ranger can go anywhere in Free Star Collective space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Okay then, a word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So. What's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Free Star Rangers? Look, you have to be completely sure about this, so take whatever time you need. Just come and find me if you decide you wanna join. The mayor's all right. Always painting too rosy a picture, though.
You're back. Did you decide to join? I prefer a more practical kind of evaluation. I'll give you the details if you want to join up. Might be a good fit for you. The Rangers can do a lot of good. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Then I suggest you get going. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest me for public indecency. <laughs> She'll be a terror when she grows up. You've got potential. Just need to see a little more. Welcome to the rock. You should try Philburn's beer. It's brewed in the city. It ain't bad. A lot of famous people visit Aquila. Popping back a beer, you never know who you meet. I feel for the folk in the streets. Not everyone gets to say they work at The Rock. Appreciate you stepping up the way you did. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. Usually that means hunting down criminals and bringing them to justice. Emma Wilcox can tell you more about that. Go see her over at The Rock if you want to sign up. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. We'll take it from here. And set up his camp not far from here. Aquila City was his baby. I don't buy it, though. The United Colonies wouldn't let some ragtag settlers stake a system like this without a fight. Nice it job. was a different time. 
Everything was new, everyone fleeing Earth as quick as you can. If he tried it today, I'm sure the UC would have shut him down. And there is no way he wore that getup. There wouldn't be a Free Star Collective without Solomon, and that's the truth. plans or lines of credit, and I don't sell to shady individuals. If you can handle that, your money's welcome here. Outlaws, Ashta, those bandits from the Shaw Gang, this can be a dangerous place. Best to carry a reliable piece. More than a few, yeah. Unless you're up in the core, life around here ain't easy. Folks can find their way into all kinds of trouble. I've had no end of desperate souls come through that door in search of a way out. I know it ain't technically my fault when someone buys one of my guns and starts shooting up the town, but I still don't feel great about it. Hopefully you ain't one of those kind. You seem all right. Here's my selection. traveling halfway across the galaxy to be yelled at by your mother. A mirror wolf at the low house could really use someone helpful like you. After the job, a mirror wolf at the low house could really use someone helpful like you. After the job you did with the bank, it should be easy.
the ship to talk with an actual ship captain. I'd appreciate you not- I'm, uh, well, surprise you returned a hail. Can I ask the first question? I'm still talking with the captain. Cindy will organize everyone into a queue. Are you sure you're up for this? This is a really fun crowd. So helpful. All right, who's up? First question. Is being a ship captain non-stop thrills and excitement like living in that movie Return of the Interceptor? Set up an outpost on huh? Nero was one of the biggest, nastiest battle sites of the whole colony war. Lots of dead militia here. And Marines. <laughs> 